Oh, what is up everyone? Welcome back. We are joined here today on a server actually, and we're going to be doing a really interesting challenge. So, first of all, we are playing modded. This is a mod pack called Enigmatica 2. And we're going to be trying out this challenge called the One Chunk Challenge. Now, if I press F9 here, you can actually see the chunk that we are currently in. It's marked by these like green borders. And this is the chunk that we are going to stay on and basically try to survive and grind through this entire map or this entire like pack using only this chunk. Uh, and we'll get into more. We'll get into the more like the specific stuff later. But basically, there's different dimensions in here, and we're going to be traveling to those dimensions and checking out how those how like the rules work there with the different chunks right now we're just trying to get started off the server is a little bit laggy as everyone first joins and the uh and basically like people start pre-generating chunks and whatnot or just generating chunks which is gonna lead to do i not get blocks by breaking this stuff by hand okay um we we found a little nice chunk though. It's actually it's got a rubber tree, a silver wood tree, and we kind of cheated. We stole a sapling from that great wood tree, but we'll just say it fell far enough in here. Uh, so it should be okay. All right, so I've grabbed some silver wood planks, and so we can get some starter tools now. Hopefully, grab some actual gear. Um. And so we picked the Stonecraft biome uh, for these trees because eventually we're gonna need them to progress in other um, in other mods like Astral Sorcery, and we somehow managed to find a rubber sapling as well in here, which is really surprising considering that rubber saplings are pretty hard to find. Now that being said, there is potentially a chance that it doesn't drop any saplings, and we might be a little bit screwed. Um, but uh, well, well, when we get there, we'll figure it out. Anyways, right now we're just trying to get some basic tools and just survive. And uh, so we've got a little mine down there now. Oh, this mushroom is actually kind of in here, so we might be able to grab some. Yeah, we can get some mushrooms over here. It might be useful later. Who knows? Uh, let's toss that in there. All right, so after a little bit of research, we've kind of decided our course that we're going to try to take. Um, basically, we want to go to get grout, um, which is basically a combination of sand, gravel, and clay. And normally this wouldn't be a pro- I shouldn't plant that there. Oh, spiders. Help. Uh, rainbow. <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I should not lead them towards the the chest. That's not the greatest idea. Okay, nice. Alright, anyways, as I was saying, normally getting those materials would not be a big problem. However, we unfortunately don't can't just go running around and looking for those materials so we're gonna have to dig a little around for a cave and look for um look for clay which can spawn underground and we can also get sand by grabbing cobblestone and putting it in a manufactory but before we get to that, a manufactory not only takes power, but it also takes a bunch of these different things. And so that's what we're going to try to progress to first. Alright, so while Rainbow goes and takes care of that, I think what I'm going to try to do is work on our food situation. Because we're going to starve at this rate. <laughs> so I think I'm going to set up a little area where we can... Oh, please tell me it's not stopping right now. Okay, uh, I'm going to set up a little area where we can farm some food up. And so I think what I'm going to first do is I think there are barrels in this pack. I sure hope there are. Oh boy, are there not barrels? Or do I need to have the slabs on the bottom? Uh-oh. Barrel. <laughs> there are... Are there no barrels? Liquid barrel. Oh. That's a mess. I was planning to go and make like the things that can catch water. The, there's these barrels that are in the normal Enigmatica pack. 
So since we're playing on the light pack, it's actually missing some of the mods that are in it. Which means that some of the items that we had in our previous Enigmatica series are not going to be available. Uh, and that's going to be a little bit difficult. Is this grass growing back? I feel like it is. Maybe it's not. But it's going mad. So, we can set up a little, probably a little farm area right here. I think that would be nice. I should really get a shovel. Okay, I found the quest. It was just this just enough item. You just had to check that box. Not that difficult. Inventory tweaks. Uh, just free reward crates, basically. Mouse tweaks. I actually don't know what this is. Oh, uh, this is the this is the really nice one. You can like do that. It's super useful. Uh, let's go check this out. I got storage crates, smoker, useless, chemical thrower. Oh boy. Uh, useless items for us. I guess we can also do the Thomcraft one because we are in a Thomcraft biome after all. Let's see here. Detect and submit to claim that. Silverwood. Snag that. Should have completed it. Claim. Some food. Nice, nice. Can I eat, please? Uh, some meatballs, actually. Uh, I'll drop a couple of these for him as well. Oops. Server's still a bit laggy, but it's it's okay. We can deal with it. <laughs> All right. Now this food is gonna be nice. We're gonna need a reliable source of food, so I'm gonna start making this farm still. Doesn't have to be too big. Oh boy, someone is already <laughs> hammer. Oh, engineer's hammer. <laughs> so there we go. Nice little farm right here. Maybe a five by five farm will do nicely. Um, I guess there are sprinklers which we can take advantage of. Um, do we have what do we have so far? We have tomato seeds. These don't plant down. Why don't they plant down? Uh, do normal seeds plant? Okay, they do. What do I need to plant tomato seeds with? I'm not too sure. Uh, what else do we have? Chili pepper. I'm assuming you can't grow those either. Nope. Uh, I guess we just have those for now. I know this red orchid stuff, you can turn into redstone, I think. Don't remember. I think Rainbow's just going through all of the quests and snagging them all, which is probably a good idea. Beating starvation. Tinker's construct. I guess I can just go through these and claim them all so you guys don't have to watch. Alright, we are back. That was a lot of quests that we completed. <laughs> uh, they're still ringing. Uh, and the rain stopped though in the meanwhile. We got some plants starting to grow up. Uh, these are going to be a little bit annoying to grow, but eh, it's fine. Got some loot crates. Um, getting grout. That's probably our first one. Oh, this is going to be useful. Advanced power cell. Berlarium ingots. Uh, so, Manu Factory. So, this advanced power cell allows us to transfer energy wirelessly eventually when we get multiple of these. Super useful, and it's not only the normal ones, the advanced one, uh, which is nice. We also got a few more quests. I didn't claim all of these, like some that give experience. I want to save those for later for when we actually need exp Never mind. Click the wrong button. Um, okay, well, we have more XP now. Uh, lots of food though. Lots and lots of food. And we do have the carrot and a stick mods, which basically the stick part gives you, well, you know, the carrot part gives you more health for the different kinds of foods you eat. I don't think we have the stick mod though. The stick mod punishes if you don't eat, uh, like unique types of food. Ooh, we got an avocado sapling. We're gonna have to build like a tree farm underground to solve this mess. Cause we're gonna have trees growing everywhere at this rate. 
Uh, we need the wood, though. So, let's get a little bit organized. And maybe check out some quests that we can focus on first. I should probably kill this zombie before it kills Rango. If I can hit him without killing her. Okay. Ooh, it dropped a zombie head, actually. That's going to be useful eventually for Ender IO, which is a long ways off. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do, first of all. So maybe some easier quests that I can focus on. Worms? Uh, oh, we could use worms, actually, because they can help fertilize stuff. Um, although apparently they die, that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Because they can help hydrate soil, and that means we don't need to have that water source for a little bit. Here we got some basic kitchen stuff. Tinker's Construct, we really want to start. Unfortunately, you need one of these, which requires a book, which requires paper and string or leather, but uh, I don't think we're getting any leather. Paper, however, is kind of difficult to get. Uh, we don't have any of these yet. Maybe we can try getting forestry stuff, but yeah, you see everything here revolves around getting like a smeltery first because we need the smeltery to get ores. Although alloy smelter could work by, um, what's it called? It's not called the alloy smelter. It's by Nuclear Craft. What's it called? Uh, at Nuclear Craft. Ooh, that's a tree that grew in my face. Alloy Furnace, this guy. This guy can also do it too. Uh, but again, we need more materials. So I guess right now we just gotta go and grind for nuclear craft stuff. So we'll be back once we start earning some of those. All right, I actually hear a cave nearby. Let's see if I can find this. Oh, that's the border though. Not allowed to go outside the border, unfortunately. So we might not get to this cave at this rate. Uh, I hear them though. Where are they? Are they down lower? Uh, are they this direction? Oh, this is really infuriating. <laughs> I, I just want to find these guys. Uh, oh, here it is. Jumping down there seems like a bad idea. Oh rip, there's no ex nilio. That means we can't get our auto. Ooh, that guy's ripped. Uh, let's see, we actually managed to get ourselves a ravine here. Come on, don't shoot at me. Oh. Alright, you need to go. Unfortunately. Oh, uh, oh crap, we are in 1.12. Uh, I'll just kind of block this area off. Got to access the what? That's like an end game item right there. Uh, we do have water though. Please don't push me off. <laughs> uh, some tin here as well as some service quartz. Let's go up a little bit, uh, maybe recoup, and grab some torches as well, that'd be probably nice to have. Uh, and we can probably check out that cave in the next episode. That would be nice. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. I think I'll end the video here for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I am actually really enjoying this series so far. It's going to be definitely an interesting challenge. Tell me what you guys think. And I guess we'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye. Yeah,